Hey bookworms, welcome back to my channel. So last year I did a video called my 2016 reading list where I talked about all the books that I have on my shelf for years and haven't read and I made it a mission to read all of them. Let's be realistic, I knew that I won't be reading all of them in one year but I just did the video partially to share it with you but also because I needed a boost to start reading books that I already have on my shelf before I start buying more and more new books. So a year has passed and I wanted to share with you in updates which books I've read, which books I haven't, which books I started and quit in the middle. There are a few of those unfortunately and obviously I won't be going over each and every book. I will only share with you the one that I either read or started and didn't finish for whichever reason. And hopefully that will inspire you guys also to read books that you have on your shelf. Because I know we, we all have this problem. We have those books on our shelves. They have been there for years and we hold on to them because they are classics or because, you know, we spend money on them so we want to keep them. Or we say, you know, one day I'll read it. And before I start with my books, I just want to ask you guys, how do you relate to those kind of books or problems? Are you sentimental when it comes to books and just keep everything? Do you get rid of books that you either know that you're not going to read or read once? Do you hold on to just the special ones? How do you relate to this all issue? So as you can probably imagine, I haven't read all of these books. I think the total was something like 25 books. I read about six, but obviously these were not the only six books that I read in 2016. I also read new books and there were some books that I've read and I didn't review. So the three books that I actually read and did a review on, I'll link the review down below so you can go and check it out. And these three books are Fatherland, the Historian and the Raw Shark Text. And there were three other books that I read and decided not to review because I thought that you guys won't be interested. And actually two of these books are part of a series that has no continuation and I knew that it would be annoying to review a book and say, yeah, it's a really cool one, but there aren't any sequels. Both of them are also by the same author, Jasper Ford, and they are Shades of Grey, the first book of a series, and it doesn't seem as if he's going to write anything more, which is a shame. And The Fourth Bear, which I think I mentioned in previous videos or lists or somewhere I mentioned this. This is the second book of a series, and once again, he wrote this one, I think, 10 years ago. Doesn't seem to have a sequel. And strangely enough, the third book is The Final Solution by Michael Shaben, and I believe I did not mention that in my 2016 reading list. I don't remember why. Maybe I forgot. It's such a small book. Maybe I simply forgot I haven't read it yet, but it should have been there, and I read it in like a day. So six books, those were the six books for my list that I actually read. And it's not a lot when you think about the fact that I had something like 25 books overall, but I think it's, it's okay because I also chose the books that I'm reading according to what I think will be more interesting to do a review on. And part of those were newer books. So I, I'm okay with that. But now I want to share with you four books from my list that I started reading and quit. I am going to give each one of them another chance, but I'm one of those people who think when I'm starting a book and I see that it just doesn't go and it's not interesting enough, I don't see a reason to force myself to read a book that I'm not into. But I am going to give them at least another chance because I think that partially one of the reasons that I didn't finish them was because I wasn't in the right mood. So maybe later I will be and some of those have still a bookmark in them. And the first one is The Luminaries, which is a shame because it looked like such a cool book. It's a huge book. Maybe that's why I quit and you can see where I am. I'm right in the beginning. But I don't know, something about the language just wasn't flowing, I don't know, but I'm definitely going to give it another chance. Second one, and I'm ashamed to say it, but it's The Woman in White by Wilkie Collins, which is a classic. It's a Victorian gothic detective kind of novel, but I don't know. I think that when it comes to book from this time period or previous to it, I just need to listen to it 
as an audiobook. If it's not an audiobook, I think that I just lose patience. I don't know what is it with me. I'm not lazy. I'm simply have a very short attention span lately. I don't know why. I need something faster. I need something a bit more modern, which is a shame because I love books that aren't very modern, but this one will definitely get another chance. Maybe I will get it as an audiobook. Next we have She the Lover of Death, which is translated from Russian. This is by Boris Sakunin. This is part of a series. And I think what happened with this book was that I started reading it and it was, you know, okay, it wasn't fascinating. But then I got a chance to read something else that I was a bit more excited about. So I just left this one. I read the other one and kind of forgot about it. But like the other ones, I'll give it another chance. Hopefully I will read it soon. And the last book that I started but could not continue is actually a very unfortunate story. This is Telegraph Avenue by Michael Shaban. I love Michael Shaban, I really do. And I was very excited to read a book by him because other books that I have by him were in Hebrew. But um, I'll try to show you, I don't know if you can see it, but... Do you guys see how small the print is? I usually wear glasses, my eyesight is bad enough. I got a headache. I tried to read the first two pages and my eyes hurt, my head started hurting. It's just so small. Who thought it was a good idea to print such small prints? I also showed it to my husband and he was looking at it and he has perfect eyesight, by the way. And he was looking and said, oh my God, that's so small. And I just could not read it just because of this reason and I didn't want to cause any further damage either to my eyes or my head so I don't know what I'm gonna do with this book maybe I'll try to give it or sell it but I do want to read a Telegraph Avenue I just need to find it in another format this just goes to show you kids that when you buy a new book open it up and just make sure that the printing itself doesn't require you to have a microscope so that concludes my update on my reading list. I know that it sounds as if I've read almost nothing from my list, but I think it's okay. I think some of these books that I have on my shelf can stay there for a little longer. They're not books that I'm in any particular hurry to read, and I don't think I'm going to review any of them, unless you've seen my original 2016 reading list video and you think that one of these books would be really fascinating to talk about just let me know, write it down in the comment section and I'll look into it. And yeah, I'll continue to read books from my shelf and I will continue buying new books because you just can't avoid them and I love getting new books. So hopefully that inspired you a little bit regarding any sort of goals and reading goals, reading lists that you have. And I'm also curious to know how many books do you have on your list? Do you even do this reading list type of thing? Or you just say, you know, I'll just read whichever books that I'm going to read. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, please click like to show it. You're more than welcome to subscribe to my channel. If you dare, I'm also on other social media. I will link everything below so you can go check it out. And thank you for staying with me. And until next time, goodbye.